Hello, and welcome back to more vamp uh, Call of Cthulhu, <laughs> Dark Corners of the Earth. I almost said the vampire. I'm not doing vampire anymore. I'm doing Call of Cthulhu. Yes. Will you be leaving soon? This bus ain't going nowhere to light, fella. Engine's blown, this is. Have to wait till morning. Damn. Is there another bus out of Innsmouth? No, but there's a hotel behind me. Gilman will have board for the night. And you are really ugly with the Innsmouth look, man. Really bad. But, uh, he is quite right that uh, Gilman will have board for us, but we first want to investigate the safe. Right? 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 Yes, yes. It's unlocked. Yes, we do. And I... The controls in this game can be a little iffy, especially on the PC. I'm sure on the Xbox it's uh, much better, but on the PC it's really quite bad. Now, take this here and we'll talk to this lady. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to rally. Okay. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. She's all of a sudden struck out of this. I thought she was going to shank us or something. Uh, anyways, um... Let's try and open the safe. Now, uh, Wait said that the, the combination was in his diary, and it was. It is his daughter's birthday. Um... Which was ten years ago yesterday, which I believe puts it at February sixth, uh, nineteen twelve. Uh, yeah. Uh, what the? Ah. Uh. All right, there's two. Six. Uh, but this is probably wrong. Okay, I'd like to leave now. Can I leave now, please? Hello, uh, please? Alright, I screwed up. Um, I screwed up, obviously. Let's see. Two... Six... One, two. Yes, that's it. There we go. And see, there is a save point here in this book. The save uh, is a heavily bound manuscript. The front is embossed with the words Book of Dagon. Yes, it's the coveted Book of Dagon. Or not so coveted, rather, I, I suppose. Yes, let's save. Why not? Saving is good for us. Um. Here, the way I found that out was I went to Diary Jack Walters. He wrote the sixth this on the sixth that he was going to go to Innsmouth, which makes it the seventh. And uh, the girl is ten years old, so she had to be ten years ago uh, born. And it's pretty easy. It's just a matter of figuring out which uh, order to make it go into. And um, can we read this? No, we can't. Okay. Anyway, the, uh, Ruth gave us a picture of her and uh, Brian. Uh, so whenever we find him. If, if we find him, he'll uh, know that we are with her. That's the idea. Now let's just walk right out the front door like nothing happened. It won't open. Or not. <laughs> yeah, maybe that would be kind of stupid. And 
I don't know. I, I know what the. It's getting late. I'd better find some place to check in for the night. Yes, I was going to, Jack. Thank you. But uh, he. They, they, they made that everything have like a really. Uh, static y, old film style looking thing. I don't know if that was to hide the fact that the graphics weren't so great a little bit, or. I don't know, it's not an, an ambiance thing they were going for, but whatever it was, it, it can. It can get a little heavy at times and make it where you can't see things. Did you hear Quaith killed his own daughter? His own flesh and blood? Damn shame. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, Charlie? I see now that you're dragging him off. Caked in blood, he was. Aye. But Birch reckons she was ripped open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom would have the strength for that sort of killing. I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the order to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Would that be the strange fella you brought in to Innsmouth a couple hours back? Yeah. <laughs> I'm reckoning on him asking for lodging here this evening. Dun dun dun! They're playing an ambush. You suck. I hate you. I should leave him alone. He's I in no mood for talking. I should kill you. That's what I should do. It seems the bus has been delayed till morning. Is it, sir? That's an awful shame. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. That, that sounds just swell. Mm -hmm. We get constant visions of of the past and the future all the time. Uh, hey, uh, you all right there, sir? It's starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts it makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. No, it is not. Charlie, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me, sir. The Innsmouth law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. Sure you will, sir. Sure you will. Yeah, uh... The, the flashing forward and backwards like this... It's all part of the uh, experience that uh, Jack had right before he went to the mental institute. Remember with the giant aliens? I remember. Also, I'm rush to take this key. It's the key to the back office. It's time to do some snooping. It's unlocked. Yay, snooping! Okay, where where is the thing that says kill the outsider? I believe there is such a thing in this place. Or at least something that says kill Brian. And we have... There are severed body parts strewn all over the office. Look, a human head. Several human heads, in fact. And, uh, I don't want to know what that was. And we have a book. I wonder what secrets this oh, book holds. Oh, I think it's supposed to be a heart. Wow, that's pretty screwed up. Yeah. <laughs> yay, yay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. this is the, the one where he has been keeping a record of how he murdered people and what body parts he kept from certain people. Yeah, that guy took away his tongue. And uh, he said that they shouldn't, shouldn't kill him right after dinner because it makes him stink. Yeah, this this is a book about him going over how he murders people and how he's perf perfected it into an art form. Which is just super duper awesome. I need to see all of this. And he doesn't suspect a thing. And luckily the door closed behind us for by itself. If you just follow me, sir, I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. 
Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. And, uh, I'm like, I'm glad that you said, you know, oh, that couldn't have happened, he wouldn't have done that, and then you're telling me that he did. What was, what was that? He kind of, like, looked back and forth, like, like, I don't know, like somebody was watching him or something, I don't know. Oh, here's the fun part of the game. <laughs>